Ann is the Spanish soldier <laughs> with, with some sort of gun in the 1500s that sounded like that. <laughs> Probably why the U.S. took over. <laughs> kind of works out that if you just make your way down from one end to the other you'll hit everything you can uh, we're only gonna get probably like three things because you could eat your face off here uh, but we want to actually be able to stand up um, <laughs> after this experience we're just gonna choose three pretty random uh, spots to do this or to eat um, I think this is a good place to start it's the red kiosk there's no name on the outside that's legible but um, there's really no way to you know you, you can't go wrong all these places have very much of the same food so let's try the first one out so the first things we got were the uh, fried plantain right here with uh, beef in it and then we got what was this the chicken chicken taco mm -hmm. but it, I don't know I guess this How was is like that a chicken taco? I don't know maybe they have like a huge tortilla and they just they kind of wrap it up into a you mm -hmm. know so there's chicken in there yeah apparently and also guys they actually have mayo ketchup here I've never seen yeah, it. Yeah, it's just not popular. Yeah, I don't know. I've we'll never seen say. it. We're, but we always make gonna, it. Yeah, and we're going to go home and really check our local grocery store. Also, this was from Kiosk 57. The, the kiosks are numbered. Uh, we figured that out. This is an absolute party out here. Everybody's on the beach, listening to music, eating their food from the kiosks. It is crazy. So next up, we're here at kiosk number 49. It's called Mi Favorito. Maybe it will be our favorite. They have a lot of good items here. It looks the most appetizing out of all the kiosks. You see the rice when you first walk up. So we're going to grab something to eat really quick. So we got two items from kiosk number 49. We went with a pizza and pinata. And then we also went with a hot dog taco. <laughs> yeah, it's a taco hot dog. They just wrap it up just like the chicken. Yeah, so I'm sure it's just taco meat inside of here. I don't think there's a hot dog in here. I would be pleasantly surprised. I'm definitely <laughs> I'm definitely going to guess that there's a hot there dog is? in there. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below. Dave was right. It is a taco. <laughs> it's a hot dog. But it's not a taco because... I don't even see any taco meat. I don't even see any taco meat. I don't even see any taco meat. Do we need ketchup? Definitely need some ketchup. Now for the pizza and pinata. It is so hot, you guys. Like, we've been sitting here for a good five minutes and it's still scorching. I'm gonna rip it open so you can see inside. We have a little bit of sauce. It looks like mostly cheese, though. That is that old school pizza flavor in there. It actually tastes, you know what it tastes like? Pizza combos. <laughs> really? I love pizza combos, so this is so good. Yeah, the cheese in here tastes like the cheese in the combos. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. Unfortunately, guys, this has to be our last thing we're eating here at the kiosk today. We can't stay and party with everybody else. We have to make it to Old San Juan to uh, check into our room at El Convento. This place is a really great spot to come for lunch. They're open all the way up till 11 p.m. every single evening, seven days a week, which is great. Make sure you bring cash though, because a lot of these kiosks are cash only. We were able to use our card a few times, but that's something to know. We just checked in and there's a turn down service that they give you mm -hmm. and they give you these little what are the chocolates yeah chocolates on your pillows chocolates on your pillows <laughs> which i love this <laughs> yeah. is so old school yeah a lot of places don't do that anymore so i love that right in puerto rico when we wish to have a guest feel very welcome we say esta es su casa this is your home tonight we leave you with this thought and wish you a very good night amazing yeah. <laughs>
left our hotel, we will be showing you that later on. Hotel El Convento, we gave you a little preview last night. It's a great place. Right now we're in the city of Old San Juan and we're gonna have a great adventure today, so let's get going. The officer here just told us that these bells are representative of the bells that one rings when they're finished with their cancer treatment. My dad had brain cancer and when he was done with his radiation, he actually rang the bell as well. So I, I know a lot about this. It's on Cali Fortaleza. Um, Fortaleza is actually the governor's mansion right at the end there. So very, very cool sentiment that they're doing here for the kids with childhood cancer. Apparently this street has a lot of landmarks that are very important here. This is Luis Munoz Marin's house from 1898 to 1980, or I guess that's when he, he lived from. But that, that's the same guy who their airport is named after. And just down the street from that on Fortaleza, this is the house where the Pina Colada was created. Right there in 1963. If you like Pina Colada. All the way down the port side and the western side of everything, there are walls surrounding the whole town to keep the French and English and any invaders, pirates out back in, I guess it was the 1500s, the 16th century. But you'll see these stone walls everywhere surrounding the city. This place in town is filled with so many different types of shops. Even this one right here called the Pink Tree is so cute. It reminds me of Love Shack Fancy. Very local, very unique, very girly, which I love. And then also there's a lot of jewelry shops as well. Restaurants galore, bars galore, so you'll have plenty to do. Fort San Cristobal behind me. It protected the eastern side of San Juan a hundred years after they built Fort Del Moro. I think they do tours, I'm not sure, but we're gonna go check it out right now. So you guys can tour this historic site. It's $10 per person, but if you're under the age of 16, it's free. And then there are annual passes for people here who live in Puerto Rico for around $80. We're going inside right now. We purchased our tickets and they were $10 a piece like we said, but they gave us our receipt and we can use that at the other fort for free, which is great. It's like a little two for one deal and you have up to two days to use it. We do have a little dilemma today, you guys. Our pocket camera by DJI is missing. I'm back vlogging on the iPhone. Last night we were out in Old San Juan having some drinks and food and I actually put my purse next to me on a chair and someone pulled out the chair and my purse fell and I think the DJI is on the floor in that bar somewhere. We actually just went over there and they're not opened until two o'clock so we're just waiting to see if they have it. I'm hoping they do because we did film a little bit on there but at least we have this iPhone and we have Dave's camera as well. It turns out that the three flags, or Tres Banderas, represents Puerto Rico, the United States, and Spain all in one. Uh, the, the flag with the Burgundy Cross on it is actually representative of Spain when they came to settle here in the early 1500s. This right here is San Cristobal's chapel, and this is St. Barbara, who apparently protected those in danger of lightning and thunder back as far as the 1300s. When humans and soldiers started using explosives, they used to pray to her for her protection. So cool, walking through these tunnels. Yeah. Just feels like you're in some type of movie, like The Goonies or The Count of Monte Cristo. Just so neat. Yeah, this fort, protected the east side of San Juan. The east side. Yeah. <laughs> east side. <laughs> no, but this, this place has been protecting San Juan for four centuries, five centuries. I know, it's like their 500th year, right? 500th. Mm -hmm. 500th. 500, <laughs> 500 años. They're celebrating it right now as we speak, so. Disney celebrating 50? Old San Juan and San Juan is celebrating 500. <laughs> <laughs> there are hidden defenses in each of these tunnels. We're going to go show you the upper tunnel right now. And is the Spanish soldier <laughs> with, with some sort of gun in the 1500s that sounded like that. <laughs> 
probably why the U.S. took over. We should make this into like a haunted house. <laughs> This just takes you back in time completely. This right here, these grooves were actually packed with explosives. So if there were intruders coming down the tunnel, the, yeah, they would be blown up and the tunnel would collapse on them. Took a little stroll up to the main firing battery and you guys, this view is worth the $10 for sure. You can see the entire city from up here. It is beautiful such a nice day as well it's not too hot the wind is blowing and this is just awesome definitely well worth the money Castillo San Felipe del Moro, which was the first fort here. And this was this one was completed about a hundred years later. But what a view! We started our day with a fort, and we're going to end our day with a fort. So right now we're making our way to the smallest house in the world. Yeah, we read somewhere where there is a house that is literally only five feet wide, two <laughs> stories. It's insane. Apparently it was slave quarters um, back hundreds of years ago. Wow. Um, but now it's, I think it is actually um, owned by somebody and they live there. Crazy. So, yeah, we'll see what this looks like in a second. So right now we're passing our favorite little spot to eat. It's no longer Dragonfly, but they do have a few other restaurants right here. But this courtyard area is so special to us. When we first came here back in 2016, we just had the most magical evening here. Yeah. So we are on Tetuan Street, and apparently this house is located on Tetuan Street. I don't know how far down, but we're gonna walk down and uh, and let you know. So Dave thinks he's found it. We actually just stopped in a little store to get some air conditioning because it is pretty hot right now. And the lady at the desk was so nice in there. That's one thing to know about Puerto Rico. Everyone is just so friendly, willing to help, but just the hospitality and the culture and the people here are, they're just beautiful. As you make your way up past this very purple building, you will see this courtyard. And then right beyond, you can see this yellow, little yellow strip in between a blue and pink building. And that is the house. up to it there's a bunch of plants in the way I guess I guess this is all part of Barachina they have this like outdoor seating area but there it is look at that smallest house in the world right here in old San Juan I think Ann could fit in that I don't know about me <laughs> what do you think how small is it tiny. how small is it it's five feet wide Oh, like, hello. <laughs> right? It goes back 36 feet oh and it's two stories. I doubt there's a kitchen in there. It used to be an alleyway and someone was like, meh, I'd rather just have this as my home. So they started building on it. Pretty crazy. So this is actually where we ate before. They had tables down here, but now they're telling us to go downstairs. Oh, upstairs. Yeah. Okay, second piso. Go through these little doors. All right. Watch your stuff. There's a whole bar up here. Wow. Cool. And it smells like pizza. They've expanded. This is really nice in here. Just sat down at the restaurant and they do have a QR code for the menu. It's so much nicer up here, you guys, than where we sat the first time we came downstairs. Really 
really unique. You honestly feel like you're in like Animal Kingdom, don't you? Yeah, they like yeah Tibet or something. Or it's Nepal. so cool. Yeah. Best hummus in the world. In the world. Look at these chips. They're like soft but crispy. So good. Picking up the hummus. Mmm. I'm gonna eat all of it, and Dean's gonna have none. <laughs> The food here in Old San Juan and in Puerto Rico in general has been a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Everything has been good. Yeah. The waiter actually just told us that they're renovating downstairs and it should be finished by September. They're doing a whole new thing. Everywhere here in Puerto Rico just seems like they're totally updating all the restaurants. Like Mavita, we showed you guys, they had that whole back area. So, so happy about that. I'm actually really happy though that we sat up here because it's just yeah. beautiful. I really like the rusticness of the bar area and the wood accents. There's a lot of brass accents too. The lighting, the fixtures are really, really neat up here too. And uh, just an overall good vibe. Our pie just came out. We actually went with the personal pan, which is four slices instead of eight because we got two orders of hummus because it was that good. Pizza looks exactly as it did four or five years ago. It's piping hot, so I think we're gonna wait a second to eat it, but it does have some pesto on top with the mozzarella, a slice of tomato, it looks really yummy. Okay, so we are going to try the pizza out right now. Hopefully, it's as good as it used to be. It looks exactly the same, so. That crust is so crunchy, yep. the way it should be. It's so hot, so it is dripping a little bit, but going on in. <laughs> If you're coming to Old San Juan, please come to Pirillo. And get a Gold. slice yeah. and get the hummus because that is the best hummus ever. Yeah, for sure. Driving around Old San Juan is definitely a pretty neat experience because all of the roads <laughs> are it's not cobblestone what is it it's it's brick it was actually used as ballast for the ships coming over here very bumpy the roads are so tiny so you have to like turn and pretty much go over curbs all the time yeah. <laughs> but looking at all the colorful buildings is just gorgeous yeah. Spain built Castillo San Felipe del Moro to control the entrance to the Caribbean Sea and access to the riches of the New World. It was the first major island with fresh water that ships encountered as they sailed west from Europe, so San Juan was an excellent place uh, to first secure its deep water port. The nation that controlled the harbor could protect their merchant ships and send warships out to control shipping to and from the Caribbean. It was named this because El Moro means the headland, the high point of the land that extends into a body of water. This one is way more crowded than the other one, you guys, so definitely make note of that. If you don't like large crowds, a lot of people are here, and it is a Monday afternoon, so I can only imagine what it would be like on a Saturday and Sunday. Still really cool though, love being a part of the history here in San Juan and just learning all we can. We are back at our hotel and like Dave told you, this is one of the oldest hotels in, I don't know, the world? I know for sure all of America, this region for sure. It's so cool in here, you guys. Definitely takes you back in time. The detail is amazing. There's about two different restaurants in here. Also, there's a few different bars, which is really neat. They have a rooftop pool, which is awesome. You get a great view of old San Juan up there. So we're gonna give you a little tour. It just feels really old in here. Kind of like even, St. Augustine-ish. Yeah, for sure. They even have keys for your door, so you don't have yep. like a card at like all these other hotels you stay at, you actually have a key, you have to put it in the door mm -hmm. and unlock your door. You also have to use it for the elevator as well. So it keeps it very safe for the guests because people do come in here just to look around or to have dinner. As we continue on through the lobby, we come out to a courtyard. This is where we actually came last night for a drink. It just is magnificent. They have awnings on each floor. Greenery everywhere. It really reminds us of that hotel in Paris that we went to, Plaza Athene. Mm -hmm. It really looks like that with the awnings and then the flowers and the greenery. So really unique. Yeah. If you guys are looking just to get a quick drink, 
and enjoy a nice atmosphere, come to Hotel El Convento for that. Sure. And there's a little mascot of the hotel, this little cute cat right here. He's just lounging on one of the chairs. I think he owns this place. You do see a lot of cats all over San Juan and especially old San Juan just roaming around. There are stairs as well right behind me and it goes up all the way to the fourth floor where the pool is. And then on the second floor is the restaurant that we sat at last night. We did have a drink at that bar as well. I think we may go back there tonight and grab something to eat. I saw that they have burrata there, which looks really good. And then above that is our room. And then above that is the pool deck, which has a little hot tub as well. On the fourth floor, you have the Mirador Terrace, which is really pretty, you guys. A bunch of plants out there. You can take a nice little stroll because it is in fact really, really big. It would be a great spot to have a nice cocktail. Also on this floor is an entrance to the pool and you can also get to the pool by the third floor as well. There's some stairs that you can walk up. There is a hot tub there as well. Nice little chill spot. Right now we're just so tired. We walked already 15,000 steps. So our feet need a little rest. I'm sitting here in the hallway area of our hotel room. That's right directly behind me. We're number 316 and I'm overlooking the restaurant that's right below me. People are down there having a great night, dining, drinking, just enjoying themselves. So I think we will be heading down there in a little bit. I wanna try out that burrata and then we're gonna get some drinks, head back out into the city of Old San Juan for our last night and we'll see you guys early in the morning. Morning Treventures. So we're here in Old San Juan again. It's our last morning and sadly we're heading home. We only have about an hour before we have to head to the airport but I think we're gonna grab something to eat. We are right on the main strip here where both of the huge five-story uh, parking garages are. You'll know when you get here, it's basically a really big hub of restaurants and parking. Right across the street from us is VK Brava. We are at Genesis right now, restaurant, and we're gonna go across the street to Palayo. Palayo. Palayo Bakery um, and see what they have to eat. Ah. really good. So they have everything from beer, to sodas, the Gatorades. They make wraps, Smells like donuts, coffee. sandwiches. They have everything here guys. This trip really did make us fall in love with Puerto Rico again. We will be back very soon. I'm thinking next year. Love you, hon. Just such a good time being back in one of our favorite destinations ever. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you in our next adventure. Come on.